So since Endgame, the question has been, who's going to get the shield, Bucky or Sam? Answer is, I've already got it. So the first episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier has dropped this episode, it's called A New World Order, kind of a little bit of a walking dead there. And if you haven't seen this episode yet and you don't want to get anything spoiled for you, do not watch this review because this review is going to contain full spoilers. Disney Plus is great so far for the Marvel content. We literally finished WandaVision, what, two weeks ago? And then we're in with Falcon and the Winter Soldier. When this wraps up, we get Black Widow. Then we get Loki. Then we get Shang-Chi, Eternals. It just is not going to stop this year, which is just fantastic for Marvel content. Because all of last year, we didn't get a single thing. This year, we're not actually getting a break from Marvel content, which is honestly fantastic. I've actually been very excited for Falcon and the Winter Soldier because I've, I've always liked Falcon since we were first introduced to him. Bucky, I've never been a massive fan of him. I like his character enough, but he's never really been a standout character to me. He's always been more of a sideline character. Where Bucky, you could or Falcon, you could say the same thing. But I just think um, Anthony Mackie is just so charismatic and so likable in the role that he's always just been a standout character to me. And one of the best things about this episode is, of course, Sam's relationship with pretty much everyone he comes across during this episode. The opening fight scene was so reminiscent of the kind of start of Winter Soldier where Cap jumps out of the ship. We see the same thing with Sam and that entire battle looked absolutely stunning. Right from that battle, you could tell, OK, this is a movie budget. It literally looked like a movie put on the small screen. It was absolutely fantastic. The entirety of that big long chase fight scene was something that... I was kind of hoping for this with these kind of TV shows, but honestly, I was not expecting it to be on that quality. And just from that fight scene alone, I literally looked at my girlfriend and went, Sam has no superpowers. He's just got that suit and it just shows this guy is just so well trained. He knows exactly what he's doing and he's just absolutely fantastic in this opening scene. But for Sam overall, we do get to see him give a speech about Captain America and the fact that the shield is a symbol but it's also who Captain America was. He gives a great speech about Steve Rogers. We actually don't know if Steve is dead or if he's just kind of gone off on his own, but we do get a cameo from Rhodey, which I remembered John Cheadle saying it back in December, I want to say, but I am um, completely forgot he said that. So when he showed up, I got very excited. His cameo wasn't big. It wasn't like a big, massive part, but it was just the right amount. They're walking around the Smithsonian, or Smithsonian where Cap Shield is now. We've seen in Winter Soldier, he did have a museum, but the museum was just for, of course, uh, Captain America in World War II. But this is all of Captain America's journey. We see about the blip. We see his suit from the first Avengers movie. And it seems like there's a whole section of this museum perfectly designed just for Captain America. It makes me wonder, does Iron Man have his own one too? But I don't really know because I can't imagine any of his, any of his suits being in the museum. But the whole design of the museum, absolutely fantastic. And then Rhodey and Sam were walking around talking. Rhodey's like, why didn't you become the Captain America? And it's just, it's a really, really great scene. Just seeing the two of them, just literally just talking about pretty much after the blip because Rhodey was alive, Sam wasn't. So it was really good just seeing them actually talking again because we never really seen them have a relationship. We saw at the end of Infinity War, right before Sam got dusted, Rhodey was the one looking around for them. So it was cool just seeing them have a bit of a relationship within this episode as well we do get to see a bit of Sam's kind of home life his family life we see that his sister has been she was alive during the blip and her two kids were alive so I guess she got lucky but Sam of course was not around so you get to see what she was doing what his life was like before he became an Avenger he kind of just worked well before he joined the military as well he did just kind of work as a fisherman but we know now that Sam was not an Avenger anymore since he got black back he works for the Air Force I think they said we know he's not an Avenger so I wonder is the Avengers just not a thing anymore because it is six months after if or after Endgame I don't know where Far From Home takes place but is he just not an Avenger or the Avengers not really a thing anymore I can't really think who would be an Avenger because we know Bucky's not an Avenger from this episode Hulk, I imagine he's not doing it. Hawkeye's not doing it. Ant-Man's not doing it. I don't know. Are the Avengers just kind of just gone off? And if they need to come back, they'll come back. Or is there anyone still up there training as an Avenger? I actually really don't know. It's a good question to ask. But I I imagine they are still a thing. 
But the most of the episode for Sam is him just kind of going about trying to get the money to help his sister. But Bucky's storyline throughout this episode, which I was surprised that they actually never came back and they never met up during this episode. But Bucky's kind of what happened to him in this episode was quite interesting and really enjoyed seeing it. He's getting flashbacks. He's going through therapy. He's like really suffering with everything he went through during like the whole winter soldier period. He's hanging out with this older man because of course he can relate to the older man because they would have grown up in the same era and it's really hard to find out when the, the guy Bucky actually killed this man's son and this man cannot move on from his son's death because he doesn't know what happened to it so Bucky knows what happens but he doesn't know what to say to this man just really really good he also goes on a date which is something I really wasn't expecting to see and he's like really honest with the girl but from her perspective he's just taking the piss like she says why do you wear gloves of course he's wearing gloves because he's got one metal arm but to her he says a uh, bad circulation and she is how old are you because I'm 100 106 and to her that's a joke of course because he does not look like a 106 year old man but what he's doing is like sam is like trying to get money he's kind of hunting the people down that kind of made him who he was and getting them revenge and getting them to pay for what they done, which really makes sense and i'm kind of glad they are kind of progressing with the winter soldier really trying to make him a hero because we know that he's pardoned which i don't i understand in a way why they had to pardon him because he did do what they did but if you look at it from kind of perspective you wouldn't blame a gun for what it, they did and he's kind of really used as a gun he really didn't have a subconscious he was just told what to do and he had to do it because he didn't have anything to stop him so i don't really understand why he is getting blamed for everything because if you really look into it you know he didn't do any of the things that he'd done but the big reveal at the end of the episode is there is a new Captain America. Wyatt Russell, of course, Kurt Russell's son, is playing Captain America. He looks stupid in the helmet. The helmet looked really, really bad in him. The suit as a whole was really, really bad. It's worse than the Avengers suit, which is mad to say that as a whole. But I imagine this guy doesn't have any superpowers. I imagine he is not going to go into war. I imagine this version of Captain America is just going to be what Captain America was like in World War II before he went out in war. He's just going to be a poster child. He's just going to be wandering around all the place just doing all these publicity stuff like you see in the trailer. He goes to the Super Bowl. He's not going to be a hero. He's just going to be a poster boy. That's what I imagine anyways. I'd be kind of surprised if he was a hero. But there's just so many questions set up in this episode and I really, really enjoyed it. It's really good to see Sam and Bucky again and really get more of these characters. I'm looking forward to seeing them actually come together because we find out in the episode Sam has been texting Bucky because they never really were friends. They were just both friends with Captain America. They were never really friends. So it's just kind of like, okay, you're friends with them, but we're not really friends. We don't have a relationship. So I'm looking forward to seeing them actually become friends. Because if you look throughout the series. You know especially Civil War. They aren't friends. They kind of argue a bit. So I am wanting to see the progression of this story. I wonder if Captain America is still alive. I think we're going to have to get that answer at some point. I kind of hope he's still alive. But who knows. I wonder what's going to happen with the series. I really don't know. We get this new villain group. Who I actually can't remember the name of them. But they got a red hand symbol on their face. That's their like the big arcing villain. As well as Baron Zima. Who I actually forgot until this exact second. Is going to be the big villain. Agent 13 is going to show up again. I think her name was um Sharon Carter. We haven't seen her since Civil War. So there's so many people coming back. We're going to be seeing well, Sharon Carter and uh, Baron Zima. I wonder is there going to be a surprise cameo. Like there was with Luke Skywalker. I highly doubt it but who knows really excited to see how this entirety of this show plays out really because Winter Soldier is one of the best Captain America or one of the best Marvel movies Civil War is one of my favorites as well so just seeing these two characters who are very heavily prominent in those two movies seeing their characters and their stories progressing really excited for but let me know your thoughts on the Falcon and the Winter Soldier episode 1 in the comment section down below did you love it did you hate it if you want to see my continuing reviews of this series Next week, episode two drops. So I'll be dropping on my review of that as well. If you want to hear that, click that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.